In this video, we're going to take a look at the euro US dollar currency pair and why it continues to be so popular with traders. Hello, I'm David Jones from Capital.com and this is the latest in our series where we look at markets that are popular with traders. When it comes to the foreign exchange market, uh, euro US dollar is the big one. It's the one that's the most widely traded. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at what actually is euro US dollar, some of the movements uh, over the long and short term and how you trade this with capital.com. So let's take a look. What is the euro US dollar currency pair and why is it so popular with traders? Well, it's put simply, it's the exchange rate of the euro to the US dollar. So for example, if the rate is 1.1000, it means that one euro buys you $1.10. And of course, this will move around during the day. It is the most widely traded currency pair. Clearly, there are lots of different world currencies that can be traded, but Euro, US dollar in terms of volume is the most popular on a daily basis or has been historically. The large volumes seen in foreign exchange markets means the spread is tight so that the cost of doing business is incredibly low. And normally we're guaranteed um, at least some volatility during the day, through the week, over a month. And it's all of this, it's these movements and the, the, the cost of trading that make it popular with traders. So how do you trade Euro US dollar with capital.com? You trade contracts for difference, um, CFDs. That may be a term that you're familiar with. When you're trading using CFDs, you trade using leverage. Um, Short-term traders have used leverage for many years. What leverage means is, in a nutshell, a small initial deposit controls a much bigger financial position. So they're magnifying their potential for profit. But of course, hand in hand with that goes the fact you're magnifying your losses uh, when things don't turn out as planned. So it's really important, more important than ever, when trading using CFDs and leverage that you have some sort of risk control in place, such as stop losses. And of course, you can trade markets in both directions. You know, For example, at the time of recording in recent months, the euro has been weakening against the US dollar. So the sensible side of the market has been to be short the euro. So you have a position that makes money if euro US dollar falls. So you can do that with CFDs. And of course, you can trade long. If you think the euro is going to uh, increase, against the US dollar, uh, you can buy using CFDs and profit from a rise. The point is you can trade markets in both directions. So let's take a, a quick look at Euro US dollar and, and some of the movements. Um, so back in March 2018, the Euro was trading around about 125. So a Euro would buy you a dollar and 25 cents. Since then, it has slipped back towards the sort of the 110 area. So it's lost something in the order of sort of 1500 points um, over that period. And you can see the trend since then has been pretty weak. Let's take a look at a much shorter term view. So this is the last couple of days at time of recording. So the market euro dollar has been as low as about 111.15 and has traded as high as 111.80 over here. So we've seen a swing uh, of around what, what 65 points over a day, a day and a half. And it's this sort of volatility, these sort of sharp moves that really make Euro US dollar a popular market with foreign exchange traders around the world. So as ever with foreign exchange, um, tight spreads play their part. Uh, the cost of trading is low. Plus the, the sort of volatility we see in these markets because they get moved by so many different economic, fundamental and political events means they continue to be really popular markets with traders around the world. You can trade it through capital.com uh, using CFDs, contracts for difference. You're trading using leverage. So you've got the potential to magnify your profits, but hand in hand with that uh, is the risk of magnifying your losses as well. So as I said, uh, it's very important to use risk management techniques such as stop losses. Plus, of course, you can trade markets in both directions, which is very important if you're a short to medium term trader. You know, you need the ability uh, to try and profit from falling markets. And that's what you get with CFDs. You can find out more about that on the capital.com website. 
We'll start wrapping up this uh, short introduction. If you're watching it on YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel and uh, click on notifications to always be alerted whenever we upload uh, new content. But uh, for now, from me, David Jones and Capital.com, good luck with your trading. Yeah.